we are back in the kitchen and we are making one of my favorite recipes and it's the perfect time of year to make this because it involves sweet potatoes and sweet potatoes at this time of year you're starting to want to use them up so stay tuned so some items from the farm that we are going to be using in this particular recipe today apple cider from our pressed cider from last fall if you don't have apple cider you can use apple juice or store-bought cider whatever works for you Today we are using chicken in this recipe, but you can substitute rabbit instead for the chicken. Uh, tastes amazing, won't even know the difference to be honest. Uh, and sweet potatoes, another thing from the pantry. Now one thing that this recipe does call for is chopped up apple. And I don't have any apples because it's not apple season, so we substitute applesauce in for this. So you can go either way, it turns out amazing. So let's get to it. Now first thing I'm doing with this recipe is I'm slicing my chicken. And one of the tips that I have for anybody slicing chicken, in this particular recipe, I like it sliced quite thin, um, kind of like little uh, slivers. One of the easiest ways to do this, I find, is when it's slightly frozen still, and I just take my fillet knife and just slice right down there nice. I find this method works perfect to get nice sliced uh, chicken for, or rabbit, or any kind of meat, to be honest. So we're going to get two pounds of chicken chopped up and then we'll bring it back. We are diving right in here with the good stuff. Now this recipe calls for three rashers of bacon, regular slice, regular sliced, or two rashers if it's thick sliced. Now it does call for this to actually be boiled with the chicken, but uh, I don't like rubbery bacon <laughs> so, or soft bacon. So I am frying this up, this is how I work it frying it up beforehand so that it's starting to crisp up. That way you don't lose any of the flavor, but for me, I like my bacon a little bit on the crispy side. So we're at that kind of stage there. You can see it's the, the fat's starting to cook off and this pan is quite hot, so it's keeping cooking. So I wanna start getting my liquids in here. The main ingredient in this recipe, as far as liquid, is actually apple cider. This is what gives it an amazing taste. Uh, first time I tried this recipe, I was doubtful, but I'll tell you, it is delicious. So, there's our apple cider added to that bacon. And like I said, this is a recipe that we are making today with chicken, but sliced up rabbit works perfectly for this as well. So we just added two cups of apple cider. Now again, you can use apple juice if you do not have apple cider at the time. The next, we're going to put in three tablespoons of our homemade ketchup. We will uh, link the recipe above for that. And three. So three tablespoons of homemade ketchup. And just give that a stir so that it doesn't burn to the bottom. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Now I do suppose you could reduce this if you uh, wanted. I personally like it with that amount. Quarter teaspoon, I do a pretty healthy quarter teaspoon of basil. Savory is something I did not get growing last year so hopefully we'll do better this year. But you want again quarter teaspoon of savory and an eighth to a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So we're going to stir that all up. And again, you could have put the liquids in first and just added the bacon at this point, but we're going to put our two pounds of chicken, two to two and a half pounds, chicken or rabbit, in there. And stir that up. We're basically going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to let it simmer for 45 minutes until all that meat is well cooked. And once that is done, I will be back with the next steps. Here we are, 45 minutes simmering, meat is cooked. So now we're going to pop in some more ingredients. Now, while that was cooking, I skipped ahead and I chopped up three cups of carrots. Basically it said four medium. I'm interpreting that to be three cups. Two medium sweet potatoes, which I say two and a half to three cups. These are all sweet potatoes from our garden, all different colors. One cup of chopped up onions, chopped pretty finely. Unless you like big chunks, you can go big chunks as well. Now call for two stalks of celery. 
I do not have celery store-bought, but I did have some that was starting in the garden. So I kind of picked it. It's a lot of leaf, but it's still going to give us the flavor. So we're putting that in. And the last ingredient for right now is going to be the applesauce. Now again, this called for one apple chopped up. Uh, I'm using applesauce. I'm going with a half a cup. And we'll pop that in. I've done this numerous times with the applesauce and it tastes absolutely wonderful. So that's everything in there. We're gonna stir this up. As you can see, it's quite thick, but these vegetables will create some juice as well. And once that's stirred, we're going to let that simmer for another 30 minutes. Get all these vegetables cooked up. And once that is finished simmering, I will come back and show you the last of the ingredients to go into this delicious stew. Last but not least here, we're using a quarter cup of cold water and three tablespoons of flour. We're going to blend those three tablespoons into the water, kind of to make a paste, to thicken up this wonderful stew that is boiling and bubbling away in there. Try and get it as free of lumps as you can. That's looking pretty good. And see there, it's looking delicious. Pour that in. We just mix that in there and let that simmer for another 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you check it and stir it often because you don't want those sweet potatoes to go to mush. But that is basically the recipe. So that's our basic recipe. It is simple. It is a nice home cooking kind of feeling uh, stew. So definitely give this a try. Tell us what you think. Um, you'll love it. It's surprising, but you will love it. Trust us. Anyways, hope you have a fantastic day and uh, hope you try this meal. And there we are in final closing, a sneak peek at our dinner. Nice, hearty chicken cider stew.